Okay, welcome to lesson six, uh, loops. Um, loops are one thing that uh, especially beginning programmers find very difficult, uh, and they're a bit difficult to wrap your head around. Um, so far, all of the code that we've done, basically the program starts at line one, executes line one, executes line two, executes line three, et cetera, et cetera, uh, and all the way to the end. But a loop is a way of repeating a section of code, and we have different types of loops and some different options. I'm going to try and go through that and just kind of show you a little bit uh, of the possibilities uh, with, with loops. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So our first type of loop is called a for loop. Okay, so for x, I'm going to try in range, and we're using the range uh, method here, uh, 0, comma 10. Now just like with a conditional if statement, we need a colon. So that means if you see a colon, the next part's going to be indented. I'm going to print x. Okay, so when I run this, let's see what happens. Okay, interesting. Okay, so you can see x is a variable. It is an integer because we don't see any decimals. And we just printed x by itself. So what happened here is the program came down. So we use the range method here. So x in range, 0. So it started at 0 printed x, which is 0, and then it looped around and incremented. So it went from x was 0, now x is 1, prints x, x is 2, prints x, is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and notice it never gets to 10. So if you remember from our slice lesson uh, earlier in the series, you know, basically it's, it's plus 1. So if you want to count from 0 to 10, you have to make it 11. Okay, and I did not have to start at zero. I could have started, let's say, at two. Oops, I could have started at two. Okay, and it just follows whatever numbers you put into there. Okay, but I'm going to put that back to zero and ten for purposes of this tutorial. Now, notice every time through it went through zero, then one, then two. We can change that. Let's say we wanted to count by two. We just add a third number, and let's see what happens. Oh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, so whatever number I put over here, that's what it will count by. Okay. Now, if I wanted to get fancy and I wanted to count down, okay, I would start with my top number. And if I wanted to count from 10 down to 0, let's try it. And instead of counting, because we're not counting up, we're counting down by 1. So we've got to put a negative 1 there. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we got our 10, 9876543321. Notice 0 is missing. Okay, so this second number, this is where it gets a little confusing. The second number has to be one more than the actual number you want. But because we're counting down instead of up, it's got to go from 0 to negative 1. So if I run that, boom, I get my 10, 9, 7, 8, 6, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right. Now, we can also... Uh, use loops with strings. Okay, so that was loops with numbers. Uh, so this, this whole thing called, uh, these types of loops is called iteration, so we're going through something one element at a time. So I'm going to give, I'm going to make a little title here. Uh, title. And I'm going to call that uh, Pictures of You, which is one of my favorite Cure songs. So what we can do here, uh, and there's different ways of doing this, so follow along. And prepare to have your mind blown. No, I don't. Okay. So now, when we did slices, we said that the first letter of the of the string was zero. The second letter was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so forth. So if I did like print uh, title zero, it's going to give me p. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to iterate through that with our, our loop. So for index range, 0, comma, len title. Notice there's an extra parenthesis there. Print title index. OK, so that's, that was a mouthful. That, that was a tough one. So if I run that, here's what happens. OK, so the index starts at 0, which is p. So index is 0, so title 0 is p. Comes around, 
index becomes two, or sorry, one. Uh, so it prints title one, which is I, comes around two, three, four, all the way up to the length. Now the length of this is 12. I think so. One, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I was close. Fifteen. <laughs> okay, but it never actually gets to fifteen because remember it's always this minus one. Okay, so that's a, this is a structure you will see quite often. Okay, so now let's say I don't know why I do this, but if I wanted to print every other letter, I would just put a two there and run it. So P I so P I C T U R E space S so E uh, S space etc of you so it's just basically skipping skipping letters for you um, not sure why you want to do that but you could if you wanted to now if we want to print it backwards okay, as we saw in the previous example um, I would start with length of title so I'm starting at the last letter. I'm going, let's try zero, and I know it's not correct, but I just want to be able to explain this again. So I run it, I'm going to actually get an error. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so you'll see index out of range. It's because I said the length of the title. So I said the length is 15, but because we start at zero, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. U is 14. The U is 14. So I got to, it's the length minus 1. Let's run that. So you see we got ictures of u. Okay, and again, this is the same thing. We have to go past the zero to the negative one. So u, pictures of u spelled backwards. Okay. That's one type. Uh, now there's another type that we can do. This is pretty cool. Uh, for letter in title. Um, if you're familiar with other programming languages, this is uh, a structure called for each. So basically in your mind, if you see this, if we're not doing numbers, we're not using range, or X range, you'll, you'll see as well. Uh, if we're just doing like letters, and later you'll see other possibilities. So in this case, we're doing letters. So for each letter, so if you think about that, for each letter in title, print letter. Okay. So it starts with the P, prints the P. Goes to the next letter, I, C, T, etc., etc. So it's kind of cool. It's it's a very simple structure, uh, but it, it can do you can do quite a lot with that. Okay. And again, there's other things we could do with, with loops. There's also a type of loop called a while loop. Um, and I'll just show you a quick quick example here. While true, print, you know, the end. Uh, and let's run that and just watch what happens. Boop. Okay, so it's hard to tell, but this while loop is just infinitely going. So we'll use this later. Uh, uh, if you follow my other tutorials uh, in game program, because we want our games to not end. Okay, so I'm going to stop that, and hopefully it's hard to tell over here if it stopped or not, but I believe it has. Okay, so those were loops.